Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we will talk about antique chests. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Please visit our antique dresses page if you're looking for antique chests of drawers. Antique blanket chests, antique cedar chests and antique trunks are featured in this video. Antique chests and antique blanket chests were essential storage pieces for early American settlers, as well as rich Victorians traveling by train and boat. As a result determining the age of your antique blanket chest is critical, before determining its value. Antique immigrant chests include carved, painted or distinctive embellishments that enable collectors to trace them back to their place of origin. Early English immigrant chests for example, may take on the William and Mary style, with heavy oak carvings and panelled sides. Short straight legs can also be found on an antique William and Mary chest. Antique chest of course the wealthier the owner, the more beautiful and sophisticated the antique immigrant chest is. We sold a couple lovely vintage immigrant chests with intricate carvings, and they were always such a conversation starter for the new owners. These wonderful items not only contain 300 years of history, but they also have a one of akand and spectacular appearance. Early American antique chests typically, early blanket chests contain a number of attractive qualities. Because the first Americans had to plane the wood by hand, dowel the pieces together, and utilize hide glues to assemble them there are often indications of their labor. The name six-board blanket chest is sometimes used to designate very simple early antique chests that were fashioned of very large single boards on all sides. You may notice that the inside of the antique chest is rougher than the outside on occasion. Similarly metal artisans forged the hinges and metal pieces of very early American antique chests by hand. Wrought iron hinges and hardware were common in the past. Wealthier folks of course, secure their belongings with a lock and key on their chest. Antique chest hardware dovetailed sides are especially appealing on early antique chests. Dovetailing is a phrase for the interlocking joints of two perpendicular corners in woodworking. Because antique chests were handcrafted you'll notice flaws and signs of this labor of love. The folk painted chest and the grain painted chest are the two main varieties of painted antique chests to think about. German and Pennsylvania Dutch immigrants are the most common sources of folk painted antique chests. Unique folk art creatures, flowers, inscriptions, and dates are commonly seen on Pennsylvania Dutch chests of this type. These chests were frequently used as dowry, or bridal chests for newly married couples because of their ornate decorating. On the top or side, they might feature the happy couple's initials. These chests frequently have peeling paint and chipped sides. Regardless these chests usually end up in the hands of individual collectors or museums. Early American grain painted chests are a one-of-a-kind phenomena. People came to construct their blanket chests by looking at the intense and creative grains of mahogany and tiger maple wood for inspiration because softer woods are more plentiful and affordable. Then they used dappled paint and brush strokes to imitate the look of these grains. It was the birth of the first faux painting. Antique travel trunks sometimes known as steamer trunks date from the mid-19th century to the early 20th century, roughly coinciding with the Victorian era. Many antique travel trunks have emerged in recent decades, as train and boat travel became more prevalent. In reality most American families with a few generations of history have inherited, or seen one or more of these old chests in the attic. There are many different types of travel trunks on the market nowadays. The most popular trunk styles are flat top, domed or camelback. Wooden planks and leather straps are standard on flat tops. Antique chests with flat tops were simple to move and store on boats, railways, and carriages. Camelback chests have a dome on top which allows affluent travelers to store much more. When it comes to antique chests the name Saratoga chest may be used. Saratoga specialized in high-end trunks with well-organized and luxurious interiors. Inside Saratoga chests, you'll find drawers and various compartments as well as some significant hardware. For wealthy travelers these high-end chests were the luxury brand of the day. Antique cedar chests are chests made of cedar that date back to the turn of the century. Antique cedar chests became popular around 1900 as a way to store wool blankets and keep them safe from moths and other insects. Cedar is a natural insect repellent antique cedar chest during the 1920s and 1930s, many people bought cedar chests for their bedrooms to put at the foot of their antique beds since they were no longer used for moving around the country. You can find Art Deco style blanket chests with waterfall edges rounded along the top edge and intricate veneer work. On the outside they usually had walnut veneers. 
Bruce Cedar Chests is an early Illinois producer to look for. By the 1940s and 1950s there were other manufacturers vying in the cedar chest industry. Lane Cedar Chests from Lane, Virginia, as well as Cavalier brand chests were very popular. Other Grand Rapids, Michigan-based manufacturers can still be found today. Antique Cedar Chests How much are old chests worth? What are the current values of antique chests? Are ancient trunks worth anything? What is the value of an antique cedar chest? We must consider modern uses while determining the value of antique furniture. Antique chests and trunks on the other hand are more often used as decorative items at home than as travel companions. Antique chests of course must be appealing to the eye and functional. Many individuals discover that the many Victorian trunks and steamer trunks available can be used as unique coffee tables at home. Of course higher-end trunks in perfect condition might fetch $400 to $800, whereas simpler trunks or those with damage to the straps or finish usually fetch between $100 and $300. Similarly, cedar chests can still be used for what they were designed for. Today many people adore the scent and appearance of cedar, and opening one brings back fond memories. Simple vintage cedar chests from the 1930s through the 1960s have a retail value of $150 to $350 in my opinion. Antique chests with a unique history such as early American chests or immigrant chests might command a premium price today. Many people acquire early American works, which are prized for their unique creativity as well as their antiquity. They can have a significantly greater price range ranging from $800 to $8,000 and beyond. Of course an antique chest with a distinct pedigree or a unique history would help it reach this price point. Antique chests of this sort are valuable works of art that should be maintained and cared for. Beauty on the other hand is in the eye of the beholder. If you think you have an early antique chest, you should get it assessed by an auctioneer or a qualified appraiser. If you would like our humble opinion on your antique chest, please feel free to post a small picture and message below. We'd be delighted to assist you in determining the age and worth of your antique blanket chest. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.